Hey guys, what is up? It is Pizza Prestige, and I'm back again with Building Prestige Heights in Planet Coaster, and I'm really happy to be back. It's been about 10 days since the last video, uh, but I'm back on track. So basically, uh, what I'm doing in this episode is some more work on the entrance of the coaster, so not working on the layout or the coaster at all, only on the scenery around the path right here. And I think, you know, this is, you know, this was kind of a challenge for me uh, to come up with something that would work here, and I really wanted to do like a deep, uh, dark, uh, watery cavern, you know, like a cave, and I think in the end with all the rock work it actually turned out pretty cool. You know, I'm, I'm trying to make a little base there for the um, for the path to go on, and also little walls. It was kind of difficult to fit all the, like, the rocks in there without them sticking through the wall on the other side, so I had to look for that, you know, every now and then, and uh, just make sure that they didn't really hit the wall, and I think... Yeah, I, I think I don't have any uh, rocks sticking through, so that's a good point. All right. Anyhow, what I really wanted to talk about, about you know, in this episode is where I want to go with this coaster. Now, I have said in a uh, in the previous episode about you know trying to come up with a story for the coaster, and I kind of think I got it sort of on lockdown. You, it's, it's basically just a haunted castle, and the castle is on top of a hill. And in order to get to the coaster, basically, what the peeps have to do is they have to go into the hill first. And when they get into the hill, they will get into this deep cavern, which you will see later. Um, but then, you know, they will walk through the tunnels and all the stuff. And eventually, they'll get to the coaster. Now, the cavern right here, as you can see, <laughs> I actually used the blue uh, roof trick for the water. Uh, I really didn't know how this was going to turn out because I really don't like it, to, you know, when it's outside because you don't have waves and you don't have any water textures and it's not really that reflective as water it just doesn't really look like water um, so you know I, I, I thought you know but let's just wing it let's see how it goes and I think in the end it actually turned out great because basically what this is, is this is gonna be all like in a cave you know this is all gonna be covered in rock work and when it's all covered in rock work you know you don't really see like the sun's reflection on the roofs you only see the spotlights that are shining down and I think that's really cool you know to um, yeah to kind of create a watery ambience that actually looks kind of realistic with these roofs and I think in this way this is kind of one of the f only f you know a few ways to do this uh, I really don't like the way the water looks when I put it outside so I really um, you know I, I tried to stick with a minimum here and <laughs> actually in doing so I made a, a tiny little like outlet that actually leads out of the cave and I was putting this boat in there and I thought like how the frick is this boat you know how how has this boat ever gotten in here like it's so tiny when you look at it from the side that you won't believe that it's there but somehow it's there and it's kind of spooky on its own uh, but it's also really bad planning so I could fix that later, I don't think so, because, you know, I did all the rock work already, I put the roof over it, I did everything. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we're just gonna have to live with that. Um, but it would be kind of cool to, you know, to create a story about how the boat got there. You know, it's, um, it could be kind of like a mystery thing, like it's a ghost ship that actually crashed. Um, but basically, the peeps go in and they find this, like, creepy cavern with the camp and the gold and the, uh, the little rowboat. And that lets you know, like, shit, there's someone here. And then, you know, while there's actually no one there because you can't see anyone. And then as you walk through, you start hearing these ambient noises and these, you know, these people walking and talking and uh, like more like whispering, you know, really creepy and eerie. And then as you get to the coaster, um, the story is told through your speakers in the upstairs room. That's basically above the little coaster um, straight track right there that we did in the last episode, the little room, the chamber on top. Um, right there is actually going to be kind of a, t a storytelling in which I'm probably <laughs> going to have to uh, record some of my own voice or maybe get someone else to do that. Uh, it will be pretty fun to see how I can narrate the story uh, of kind of a uh, old ship captain that somehow died or whatever, um, you know, or like someone uh, said, some boy that actually died in the castle, something like that, you know, but something really spooky that actually, like, kind of, you know, jolts you, that, that makes the the hair on the back of your neck stand up when you hear it, kind of like a really creepy pasta. And uh, so I'm going to try to make a creepy pasta as a, um, 
<laughs> as a story for the coaster. Um, but we're gonna see how that all turns out. I can't wait to get started on that. I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna do that in an episode. Uh, I am going to do that live on a live stream someday. Uh, I'm not sure when though, but if you check my Twitter, you know, I will post it on there when I live stream. I'm also working on some other things uh, that I live stream. I'm actually doing a co uh, collaboration with uh, Free the Bear and someone else, um, Infinity99, I think it is. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry if I used the wrong number. Anyhow, but um, yeah, we're making a No Limits 2 coaster, so that's pretty awesome. You can go ahead and check out my past broadcasts on Twitter, and you can see that I actually uh, made some scenery for it, because I'm going to do the scenery for it. You know, I'm, I made the um, the station platform and the roof for the uh, the station uh, so far, and there's going to, you know, there, there needs to be a lot of work done before that's finished. Um, so I'm going to stream some of that, but, it, but I'm also going to stream some of this, and I'll post it on Twitter what I'll stream, you know, when. Uh, I don't really have that much time to stream, unfortunately. Um, you know, it's uh, <laughs> I work five time uh, five we uh, days a week, and you know when I get home, I'm mostly just tired, and you know I eat and then I chill a little bit and then I go to bed. Uh, but now I'm you know I'm, I'm still trying to make videos. Uh, I really enjoy making videos. I really enjoy playing Planet Coaster right now. I'm also actually enjoying making the scenery for the No Limits Coaster. So that's all good. Um, you know, we're just having a great time. And, well, actually, you know, Planet Coaster is a very fun game, but sometimes it's, it gets a little bit repetitive. Like, with the rock work, it's really hard to keep going and keep creating the rock work, because it's a lot of work. And what I actually did for the roof of this cavern is something that I thought would work a little bit. I actually planned it out. You can see some rocks floating in the air right there, uh, you know, during this little walkthrough of the station that we don't really need right now, but somehow I just did it with a camera. Um... Oh well, I'm not even gonna cut that part out. We're just gonna keep it. Uh, but basically, um, you know, uh, like along the side of the cave, there's actually like rocks sticking out that are just flying in the air. And they actually mark where the walls need to connect and where they need to bend over to um, the ceiling. And that way I can really easily kind of just fill it in with rocks and, you know, fill them up to a certain height and then start going horizontally. And I think that worked out great. I'm trying to, you know, Create some really wacky supports by just placing some wooden pillars there. Uh, this is really weird because, you know, wooden pillars, first off, if they're that long, they're gonna buckle no matter what. So, um, yeah, don't don't keep me for the realism on that one. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it, it, it kind of helps a little bit with the spookiness. Also, with the foliage, I try to make it a little bit greenish. The vines or the seaweed actually really help with this. Um, you know, they really create, like, an old and forgotten abandoned feeling to it you know also with the boat it really helped out and um, yeah just trying to add some random wooden things to it you know trying to make it look a little more interesting kind of draw the attention towards the camp so you see that because uh, when you see that you know that's of course when you think like well maybe there's someone here hmm all right now here you can see uh, <laughs> some particle effects actually and that's the um, that's the cannon Actually, uh, you know, there's a uh, wall attachment cannon that you can place on um, on basically any face, but you can place it wherever you want, you know, with the uh, control and the shift key. But basically what it does, it, it's actually like it shoots out a tiny little um, flame and also a lot of smoke. And it does that every couple of seconds, I think, or maybe every two or three seconds, something like that. And um, it creates this really cool like smoke effect that goes up through the boat right there right there and I'm really happy about the way that looks and you know filling in this thing with rocks <laughs> a little more um, I actually forgot what I was talking about I think I was talking about like uh, the story and shit and also what we're going to do with the live streams and um, so let's get back to that now <laughs> the story is gonna be pretty hard to come up with you know I'm kind of just like freeballing it a little bit uh, trying to make it up on a spot and it, it, it's kind of working out you know just I really wanted to build this cavern, so I thought, like, you know what, this is going to be part of the story, and that's, I think, how the story is going to come together, you know, this is a, this has got to be part of the story, that has got to be part of the story, I want to build this, I want to build that, and then later we just put all the mumbo-jumbo together and make something that makes sense, and I hope that works out, you know, I, I really do. I'm not sure how this whole watery cave thing is going to translate into the story, but I'm sure it will have some part. If you have any suggestions on that, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I would be really glad to hear it. Um, but yeah, I mean, 
this is already almost the end of the episode. Uh, right now I'm just filling in the last couple of rocks right here. And then I'm going to be signing off. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode or the next stream. Be sure to, uh, to you know, follow me on Twitter or you know check out my Twitter once in a while if you don't have a Twitter. Um, to know what's happening. And I'll see you guys then. So until then, peace from Pieces of Prestige.